ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to present the opening remarks at the business and economy session of the esteemed C20 conference. Today, we are privileged to have two distinguished personalities, Sri V. Ananta Nageshwaran, Chief Economic Advisor to the Government of India, and Sri Sanjeev Sanya, member of the Economic Advisory Council to the Prime Minister of India. They will enlighten us, enlighten us on the principle of Vasudeva Kudumbakam, encapsulating the essence that the world is one family and its influence on policy, both in economics and social sectors. The focus will be on the interdependence of all economies and India's consequential contribution. India's journey of economic liberalization that commenced in the early 1990s has resulted in the nation being a significant stakeholder in the global economy. This transformation is not just the result of market liberalization, but also due to strategic in initiatives by the Indian government aiming at, in at, aiming at integrating hundreds of millions of people into the formal economy. One such initiative is the Digital India Campaign, a landmark project that has elevated all sectors of society, ensuring digital literacy and fostering financial inclusion on a massive scale. The endeavor has linked over 1.2 billion Indian citizens to a digital identity system, demonstrating a unique model for the world to consider. As we ponder, upon the notion of Vazuteva Kudumbakam, we need to reflect on the idea that societal upliftment and prosperity are paramount to fostering peace and harmony. India's experience in transforming itself from a society with limited resources to an, em to an emerging economic powerhouse provides valuable insights for other nations. In today's interconnected world, no nation can play, can truly prosper at the expense of others. The paradigm of us versus them is antiquated. The global economy is akin to an intricately, in, intricately woven tapestry where each thread signifies a nation whose fate is interlinked with others. Conflict and division, unfortunately, continue to haunt humanity. Therefore, it's in, therefore, it is incumbent upon us to rethink our national and international engagements, promoting shared prosperity instead of isolated success. We must learn from each other, imbibe the best practices, and devise solutions that are inclusive and considerate of other, all nations. In the context of international economies, economics, India's successful initiatives in financial inclusion and digital empowerment provide a roadmap for nations grappling with similar challenges. The mechanisms implemented in India to, to promote inclusivity and prosperity are case studies in effective policy making. As we gear up to listen to Sri Anantha Nakeshwaran, Sri Sanjeev Sanyal, let's absorb the wealth of knowledge they bring and and understand India's contribution to global economic interdependence. Thank you very much.